Alright, in this example, you will learn how to use uh, Excel to calculate the payback period method, which includes simple and discounted method. Here, you can see from the screen that uh, I have pre-prepared uh, the question. You can find this example from uh, table 5-2 or figure 5-10. In this example, we already know the revenue and the expenses, which includes the initial investment and other expenses. So how can we use Excel functions to calculate the uh, payback period? So when we know revenue and expenses, first we need to calculate the net cash flow. So revenue is plus and expense is negative. So we will have revenue minus expenses to calculate the net cash flow. And we can just drag this formula which will copy the formula to calculate the net cash flow for period 1 to 5. Next, we can have a discount factor. As you have learned from the previous lecture, the simple uh, payback period method will have only one discount factor or you, know, you don't uh, you don't have to worry about the discount factor but for this example we'll have a formula to make it work for both simple and discounted method so in this example right now mar is zero percent so we'll, we'll have this uh, discount factor which will have equal open bracket 1 plus interest rate which is mar and close bracket and powered by the year or the, the period which is here, but it's a future value. We are. This is the. We have to convert this to present value. So we can have a negative. And period. Which will be converted to, a discount factor. And we can also drag this. To period five. Oops. Before that. <laughs> always make mistake here we want to have an absolute reference so press F4 which will convert um, B3 cell to dollar $B and dollar $3 then we can drag that and for the adjustment cash flow and now to calculate the adjusted cash flow we just multiply net cash flow and the discount factor. In this case, since the discount factor is 1, it's going to be same as the net cash flow. And now to calculate the cumulative cash flow, we can have plus equal and sum and open bracket F7 to F7 and close bracket but we want to have absolute reference for F7 which is the starting point and enter then when you double click it it's a sum of only one cell which is the negative 25k 
then when you drag them to cell period 5 and when you click the last cell you were able to see the starting point of F7 is still same but the last cell that we asked Excel to calculate has been changed to calculate the cumulative cash flow. So in this case we can calculate the simple uh, payback period which is 4 which has been converted to positive value at year 4. What about when, when we know that MAR will be like 15% when you ad adjust this value it will automatically calculate the discount factor and you will see that the discounted payback period shows that the year 5 is the one will start the positive value that means the discounted payback period will be year 5.